Both Super Mario Land 1 and Super Mario Land 2 had the same development team, Nintendo R&D 1, the team responsible for not only creating series such as Metroid and Donkey Kong, but also was behind the creation of the Game Boy itself. The head of R&D 1 was Gunpei Yokoi, one of the main creative forces behind the Game Boy. And a fun fact about Gunpei, he's responsible for video games as we know them. Not only did he invent the D-pad, but in 1966, he was strongly responsible for Nintendo originally moving into the world of video games from originally just making toys. Gunpei was the producer of both Super Mario Land 1 and 2. 1 was directed by Satoru Okada, the director of such games as Kid Icarus and the original Metroid, while 2 was headed up by Hiroji Kiyotake, who had served as more of an assistant director for the games overseen by Okada. Hiroji was more involved in character creation, as not only was Wario his creation, but so was Samus Aran, which led to him going on to direct Metroid 2 with Return of Samus. So while it may seem like the Super Mario Land games were just creations to test out the new hardware, perhaps made by lesser known teams, it couldn't be further from the truth. They were made by some of the biggest names at Nintendo, with as much care as they put into any of Nintendo's biggest releases. And those names have brought us Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins. Welcome back, everyone. Last time, we... solved space, I guess. But now... Mario gets tiny! This is one of the more unique stages. Macro Zone! So named because Mario's tiny and everything else is massive. I always like this, uh, level image. Just a pretty house. Let's do this. Remember those giant ants I was telling you about in Tree Zone? Well, here they are, even though the gimmick here is that everything's giant slash Mario's tiny. It's, it's never really clear which is which. Oh, hi. So I don't know if the ones in the tree are just bigger? I don't know. It's weird. Coins. Oh, God. I always wondered what this stuff was down here. Is it, like, tar? Is it lava? What is it? Also, why is this a pipe? Why? There's no reason for that to be a pipe. Oh, careful. Those things, as you would imagine, you touch on them when they're spiky, they hurt you. There's a carrot up here. Which is good, but in this level, you kind of want to get a fire flower. I'm not going to the first time, which should be a hint as what there is in this stage. Ants have cannons now, why not? It, it cannot be overstated how much... <laughs> how much their bunny ears break this game. Just glide overall. Ding. I think there's another one right here, yeah. It's weird, this is one of the easier stages. Up until a point. I mean, like, the whole zone is. Uh, should we? Yeah, why not? Let's go down here. Show off the thing down here. Wait, can I even? Come to think of it, I might not be able to. This might be something that requires a fire flower. Yeah, see? Unless... Oh, thank you! Ah, oh, you jerks! Oh, I forgot. Oh, man. What a... What a block block. Ah, oh, darn it. You know what? Just to show off what's down there. Stupid Nintendo, such a mean trick. There we go. How dare you. I actually... I think it's just coins down here, come to think of it. Oh. No, it's actually really good. It's a bunch of one-ups. Heck yeah. And then... Da -da -da, just to make sure no one else can get here. Mario's already gotten it, and he'll ensure that no one else can. Uh, this, this level, especially when you're down here because of all the movement, has some of the most slowdown in the game. Oh, there's something up there. Eh, I'm not too concerned with it. And we're at the end of the stage. 
pretty basic. More just an introduction to the fact that you're tiny. Uh, I would like another three up. I've, I've, it should be obvious by now, but I've gotten really good at that minigame over the years. Okay, bye. Now we go... Oh no, we're only on the front stuff. Oh god, is this the stage with... Oh god, hang on. This might be... Oh, I was waiting for you. I don't know what it is. That This thing always freaked me out as a kid. It's, it's just a beetle. But like... It just looks so weird to me. Also, this person keeps piranha plants in pots outside their house. Whose house is this? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> Both emotions. Uh, does the bunny ears change how you swim? No. Also, this seems to imply that cheap, these cheap cheeps are absolutely tiny. Uh, I know there's something in one of these around here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yes. One. Two, three. Can we get the extra one up? Come on, come on, come on. Yep, we got one. I want to see what this does. Oh! Oh! Right! They're, they're two stars. Well, that was something. And now we continue going up. This is kind of an oddly shaped... I guess the gimmick is you're, like, sneaking into this house through the sewer system? Oh, these things. Again, you can't actually hit them. Oh, we're at the end of the stage already. Right, I forgot! This level's tiny, too. Like, not just in size, but in... Is every level in ma in back row zone tiny? Come to think of it, I feel good about this. That's just that's I'm I'm leaving. That's just what we already have. Now we're in the house proper. House. Turns out Goombas and Koopas live in the house. Uh, have fun with that. Oh shoot! Come on! Come on! Come on! There we go. All right, level's broken. All right, new mechanic. Uh, just standing on these moves you to the side. See? These will come into play in a later zone. In what I consider the best zone in the game. But that won't be for a couple episodes. Uh, all right. I think, yep, there we go. And I think up here is just coins. Yep. Again, though, having a lot of coins is good. Oh. Ah! Give me the coin. Uh, shoot. All right, this area. Star, yep. Kind of a weird layout. Uh, huh. And I forget what's behind there. I want to say it's just more coins in a one up or two. Oh, I guess we'll find out. Don't despawn. Oh, good. Okay, let's find out together. I'm curious too. Ah, uh, it's a bonefish! Darn it! And 50 coins, it was barely worth it. Ah, uh, bonefish are indestructible unless you hit them with a star. They come into play in a later level. Like, all these levels have almost little previews of what's to come in future levels. Which is kinda cool. I wonder what order they designed the levels in. 
Oh, uh, the house is on fire now, by the way. No big deal. Slightly big deal. Oh. Oh, right. There should be... Yeah. Secret path. Like, half of this has been me remembering different things about this game. Because I cannot count how many times I've played through and beaten this one. And then we have this, which is just a... A jumping challenge. What? 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 Oh, now with Koopas. Whoa. And Goombas. Shoot. Alright, that Goomba's just gonna fall to its death. And then... We ring the bell. Ding! Another quick level. Yeah, I guess all the levels in this zone are extra short. Or maybe... Maybe it's just because, as a kid, I played this level so much that I kind of, like, have memorized these stages. Okay, bye. And now we head... to the attic. The spooky music. Oh! New mechanic! Witches! <laughs> They steal the one-ups. You have to chase them down. There's a couple of them throughout the game. Uh, these do the exact same as the last one. You also want to be careful, because the game... There's there's a couple things like this that are just complete dick moves for if you are trying to race through. Some people may recognize this song. There was a very popular viral animation about... Two mice arguing over cheese. And they used this song for it. Oh, look at all this money. We are gonna gamble after this, but only a tiny amount because uh, my goal by next stage is to do the 999 gamble. Which will result in us getting a single one up again. I hope you're all looking forward to it. Uh, is this another witch? It is. Come back here. The witches are never explained, they just are oh. uh, please let this be a fire flower. Yes! A lot of coins. Oh, this level is just Well, like I said, all the levels are just chock full of coins, because they actually have a use. It's a mechanic I wish they used more of in Mario, where you could gamble the coins away. I know, it just seems very it just seems like something that would match pretty much every Mario game. Oh, can I do the thing? Yep. You can activate the sound of the, uh, pipe without going through. And now, the boss of Macro Zone! The rat! All of those missed. One of the trickier bosses in the game. Does the ceiling drops. Oh, what? I only hit it twice. Oh, did the fire? I guess the fireballs were enough. But yeah, normally that can be a very tricky boss because of all the ways it goes through and out of pipes. Ooh. Heck, and furthermore, yeah, we are halfway there. But, you're probably wondering, what was I talking about in this stage? Well, so, how do you get up here? Yeah, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> so the fire flower, you destroy this and you head on up. And then in here are a couple enemies and the secret exit. Most secret exits in levels just bring you to bonus levels. That are just for, you know, coins or one-ups. This one lets you skip all of Macro Zone and head straight to the boss. But the trade-off is that it's a tough one. Well, quote-unquote tough. It is an auto-scroller in the sky. And they don't give you bunny ears. If you bring- if you somehow manage to bring bunny ears here, like if you break the blocks, then go back and get bunny ears, then this level is a breeze. 
I don't remember if there are enemies in this stage. Oh! I did remember, apparently, that there was a one up there. Oh god, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Yeah. Oh, give me all the coin. Bunny ears? No, fire flower. Yeah, I guess they realized, hey, if we give them bunny ears here, that breaks the level. Turn up. Gonna break through. Now be careful. And now to ensure nobody can ever follow me. A quick level. But it lets you, like I said, skip all of Macro Zone. It's a nice little shortcut. A nice little shortcut. Macro Zone, one of the shorter stages, despite having more levels than most. But it's a fun one. Anyway, I gotta go gamble. Oh god, we're at 900. We're so close. Uh, how about a 50? Go. Give me something good. Oh my god! That's tremendous. Alright, next uh, video, we'll be able to gamble all of our money away, and it's going to be so worth it. That's all for this episode of Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins. Next time, you feel that chill going down your spine? Look what's next. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to see more videos two times a week from Game Boy Roulette, Dollar Store Gaming, 10 Things You Missed, and much, much more. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.